Okay, so you might be thinking, Jenna, I know you like to use random stuff for therapy, but why are you pulling out balloon pumps for me? Well, I was at Michael's this week getting some craft items and I ran across a clearance rack that was calling my name. They're three in one Discovery Kids balloon pumpers and they are perfect for therapy, not just summer therapy too. So they're a water balloon pump. It um, comes with balloons down in the bottom those and the balloon pump is either air or water so we're just going to use the air part of it and I got these at Michael's this week for 80% off and they were actually more than that because they were supposed to be three dollars and I got to the register and they were $1.99 plus I had my educator discount if you go to Michael's and you take your work badge and show that you work in a school you can get 15% off of everything you buy so um, they were like $1.75 or something really cheap so if you take a balloon out, here's how we're gonna use it in therapy. Take off this stuff and grab a balloon. You can just leave the extra balloons in there. They're not hurting anything. You just are gonna use air. If you're using water in the summer, you would empty this uh, container of balloons and um, use it to fill it up with Water, but we're just going to use air. And so the way you're going to use this is, let's say you have a kid working on WH questions and you need to just drill a set of 10 different WH questions, or you need to drill articulation words, or you need to drill is our verbs. So you're going to give the kid the stimulus card, you're going to have your flashcards, and you're going to say, okay, what's this say? And they're going to say rabbit, and then you give them another and they say rainbow, and then <laughs> uh, rodeo. So they're saying all their R words. And then after, I don't know, five, ten words, you said, okay, you get five pumps, you said five words, so one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to do a couple more because I want it to blow up dramatically for you, so you're pumping up the air to create some pressure, and then see this trigger I'm going to pull, and it's going to inflate my balloon, so probably like 25 pumps that was, or 20 pumps, and then you have a little balloon to blow up, so your kid could Work for five pumps, say a bunch more words. Work for five pumps, say a few more words, have five pumps, and then blow up a balloon. And you could probably just do that enough to blow up like three balloons in the session. And then you gotta decide what you're gonna do with them. I think I would have the kid just pop it because you don't really want them taking a balloon back home with them. Um, if you're working with little guys, you don't want them to put it in their mouth in the bus. So figure out a creative way to pop it. You could either let them use a pencil with your supervision, um, they could stomp on it, maybe you sit on them, maybe you try to juggle them, maybe you, when you are done blowing it up, you play that game where you try to keep the balloon from touching the ground. You know what I'm talking about? Ah! Don't do that. <laughs> so you play that keep the balloon out of the air game, up in the air game. Um, you do whatever, you know, you, these are really easy. So for $1.70, I got these um, balloon pumps and you just blow them up. So I love these for kids of all types, but if, think about the implications for like an AAC user, that's who I usually use it for. I have a kiddo who really loves them. So I'll have him, if, let's say we're working on core words. So he could be working on um, down and he needs to say down every time he wants, gosh, I can't get the end of it on there. So he might need to say down every time he pumps it or bigger, or you might have to say me for my turn you for your turn. He might have to say um, up if he wants me to push the balloon up in the air, if he wants me to say full or empty. So there's so many words. And it's one of those things where you can do it as much as you want. You could have the kid say 10 words to get one bump. So you think about that. If you do 10 words to get one bump, you could have 100 trials super quick. And then you have cool balloons to do something else with. All right, so that's my quick idea. Go to Michael's, grab these. Um, Discovery Kids balloon pumps while they're on super sale at the end of summer and use them year-round. Thanks for tuning in.